Hello, back with another everyday. Uh, yeah, Roman here from Left Eye Right Eye, um, season one. Uh, learning Pro Tools. So I started out opening this project with Signal Generator. And I uh, was fucking around with the noise. And I started recording stuff and like fluctuating the, the volume and the type. And then I was looking on the forums because I couldn't find a, I was trying to find some shortcuts because I love keyboard shortcuts. Um, so I was uh, trying to figure out fast ways to clip stuff and all that stuff. How to delete things. But anyway, I duplicated this track like nine times or ten times or some shit. And then I deleted like little sections of each. And then what I was trying to do, which would have been much faster if I just clicked and dragged each each track to the start. But I was trying to find like, I come from Logic and like in Logic... You can snap the audio regions to the playhead. So I was looking for that in Pro Tools, and I still can't really find it. I think the H key has something to do with it. I was able to kind of do it. Um, I think coming up, you'll be able to see. I was like trying to find out ways to move the, the regions. There, see? like I was able to move it. But that was like inconsistent, and I I don't know if it was based on the nudge value or something. So I gotta I gotta figure out how to do that more better. Um, honestly, I'm okay with me spending time and like learning shortcuts and shit while I'm doing this, cause that's how you learn this shit. Um, you just I, I mean it took me a long time. I read a whole bunch of this manual. Um, I learned some quick keys, um, I reinforced others, uh, you know, it's just a new program, you gotta just learn it from, from the get. So anyway, then I got tired of doing that stuff, and then I couldn't figure out how to fucking, this is another thing that I couldn't figure out, is how to move the volume of multiple faders, so I googled that. And um, and figured out how to do that after a long time. Uh, you, for those who want to know, you'd hit Command G on a Mac and create a group. And once you create a group, then you can do it. It was pretty simple, actually. But I couldn't figure out. Oh, and then I was trying to figure out the send, how to change the inputs and outputs on all the tracks as well. And I think you hold option for that. But after some more shit, um, I finally figured out how to bring down multiple tracks. That video helped me. I'm going to add that to my resources. Uh, YouTube videos on my page. Um, so then I figured that out because the volume was clipping like crazy. So then I went through each of those nine tracks and I added like a different effect on each track. So first one I did like a pitch shifter. The second one I added a chorus. This third one I added some dirt. Just fucking around. I did another pitch shifter. I did a transient master on another one. Then I did a, um, a delay, a replica delay on another. And then I did something else on the other one. And I was just fucking around, just making different sounds. This all started just from signal generator, you know? So this is just literally a, most of it was a triangle wave. Um, I don't know what was going on there. You see how it's black? That was weird. A weird glitch. So yeah, so then I took all those and I bounced it down into one track. And uh, my routing was incorrect, so I couldn't 
balanced correctly. Then I changed the routing. Then I got something, and then you, I zoomed in because I was trying to see like what artifacts I created. Because remember, this started from just a clean, a clean signal. Um, so, oops, I just clicked something. Um, so then I bounced it down. Then I made. Um, then I added a delay just to the one track, and I hit and made inactive all the other tracks. Um, and then I did it again after adding that, because I heard this, like, I recorded it, I heard this crazy delay, and I liked it, and then it kind of sounded like a stringy sort of thing. So then I... Um, and then I was fucking around with this last piece of audio, and I hit F seven F seven a bunch, and that kept opening Apple Music. Uh yeah, uh, shit man, I'm fucking tired yo. So then I did a last, a final transient master on this one. Kind of cleaned up the audio a little. Boom boom boom. And then that's the less shitty boom sounds that I uploaded to the site. So I hope you enjoyed. I uh, love you guys. Peace out.